Got the world saying who's that? You the illest and prove that. Pull up your bootstraps. Try walking in my shoes. Even when I felt useless, I spit the most ruthless. We fighting like ruthless. You fall in my foot. And when I'm down, I fight hardest. So I go the farthest. The most honest artist. Try walking in my shoes. Murder you is my new twist. You grabbing your crucifix. Can't walk in my foot. Just you fall down yeah. in my foot. I keep a permanent screw face. These cowards is too fake. Hanging you by your shoelace. I have your neck in the blue brace. Just finding the metal plate, your limbs in the suitcase. I diss the bitches that you chase. I move at a new pace, squeeze ain't like the toothpaste. You move units, but who's taste? They say that I'm too crazy. The real Bobby Boucher. You only got a few days to guard your grill and to pay. I'm the hero that you praise. I got dangerous ways. I have you licking Kool Aid, floating in the pool, dead. You in the bed that you made. Where's that gangster you played? I can't even tell you who's safe. I make niggas lose faith. I make niggas lose teeth. They choose fate. Not giving a fuck what you say. Cause now it's for current saying you can't walk in my shoes. I got my dues paid. I got the world saying who's that. Welcome to XGWL Charge episode number 87 And this is the last stop before X before the CPB Thug Life We're here live in the Alamo country here in San Antonio, Texas And welcome everyone, this is Hector Diaz Calling the action for you As the next episode of Charge will be the CPB Thug Life And we're not waiting, wasting any time We're going to get our first match underway And here comes the asshole Bruno Battaglia it's gonna be going up one against against Sergeant Arturo Loco in the in the fourth and final qualifying match in that fatal four way to determine who's gonna be the next XGWO Pure Champion. Ever since John Pryor left XGWO, the the Pure title has been vacated. So, so at Thug Left, we are gonna have a fatal four way, and that will determine who will be crowned the next XGWO Pure Champion. I mean, when was the last guy, this guy, ever done anything in XGWL? He's been here since the beginning, since day one. Yeah, I really haven't seen him do much of anything. Now, here comes Sergeant Arturo Loco. And I'm being accompanied by his cousin, Magadu the Max Richard. Team 619, very accomplished tag team, four time XGW All Tag Team Champions, and also former WWA Tag Team Champions way back in 2007. And this is a good chance for, for Sergeant Arturo Loco to get some singles gold. I know Nakin of the Max Rich is a former two time XGW Crusado Champion. A big opportunity here because they've been very they've been a very well good put together tag team but singles action um, not too much let's see how, how Sergeant Arturo Loco does here in this one especially with the size difference because Arturo Loco 5'7 180 Bruno Battaglia 6'4 250 let's see how it goes as this match is underway Battaglia with the early advantage elbow reversal and and back into the max with provide some distraction there because it'll be interesting to see if Sergeant Arturo Loco was because because back into the max which is already qualified in, in this fatal four way because in the first match Alex Ison was able to defeat Brandon Thomas to get the first qualifying match and Tommy Kazarian beat El Toro Extremo and back into the match, Richard beat of all people Slash the King of Hurt. And Slash is a former XGWO Ultimate Champion. So that says a lot. There. Oh, shoulder to the to the to the midsection and Battaglia just going to work. Setting up on the on the top turnbuckle. And Battaglia. Just Oh! Knocking Max into the match off the off the ring even, but Arturo Loco missed on that on that high high risk maneuver and, and just taking the leg down, sweep and now standing moonsault. I got a piece of him that springboard moonsault, and that's one thing that Sergeant Arturo Loco does 
is use, using his speed and agility and just take him with a lot of high flying ability here and like that move right there to that small package to cover now nicely done but Taylor kicks out only after after a one count and now what's he doing nicely done with that with that with that arm breaker off the top rope and now Battaglia using his strength there with that gut wrench suplex and now back into the max up again on the ring apron come on ref you gotta I mean it's gotta be a fair fight and you know and now Battaglia knocking back into the max Richard again Nice takedown there. And now. Oh, nicely done. Tilt the world DDT. I mean, that's the very innovative maneuver that you see from from Team 619. And now the cover by Arturo Loco. The cover. One. Barely gets a two count. Oh, nicely done. That is a Guri kick. And Battaglia getting back up. Nice reversal. Elbow to the head of Battaglia. To the corner. And now. Again going high risk. That jumping armbar takedown. And just continue to work on the arm. And if you take the... Take the arm away, you take away some of that punching power because Battaglia is, very, is pretty good with the fisticuffs. I'll tell you that much. And it's going to work on the leg. And now, taking him down. Arturo Loco. Off the top rope in that leg drop bulldog. And now, what's he going to set him up for? And look at this! Oh, whoa! What a DT that was! And that has got to be at the cover now. One, two! And the tag is kicking out after two. And th I thought this match was over at that point. But the tag I mean, the much bigger competitor. And just 80 pounds heavier than, than, than his opponent. And. Escaping out of that headlock. And now, working on the leg. A couple of punches there by Battaglia. The one thing that, that he has, that Sergeant Arturo Loco has to look out for is that elbow, that surgically enhanced titanium elbow. And shot to the head. Sends him to the ropes. And nicely done with the arm drag. And now, Goes high risk. Moves up. Oh, Battaglia gets the knees up. And let's see, is he going to take advantage here? Puts him on the right with that suplex. Go behind. Reversal by Arturo Loco. Sweeping the leg. Oh, nice job just snapping the neck. Again, working on the leg. Try to slow him down a bit. Because that's one of the strategies that Team 619 has used for years. Just, I know it, they're a very fast team, but when you slow them down like that, they, they're even faster. And Oh, what a Oklahoma slam. That power slam. Very impressive. And out. Knees to the midsection. Oh, nice assist there by by Mackie to the match, which are pulling the top rope down, and referee having a having a word there with with Sergeant with Mackie to the Max Richard, and now Batana trying to go after so back into the Max, a little shove off and a little miscommunication there. After the local Charles try to grab Batana, grabs his cousin by mistake, elbow to the head. 
And now Batal gets back into the ring after a five count. And now both competitors back in the ring. And now Irish whip. And oh wow! Nicely double that hurricane on the cover. Two! Only a two count. I know that the referee does have to keep one eye on Mac into the Max Richards. They doesn't get back on the ring apron. There he is again. Referee, if you're gonna throw him out, throw him out. But I'll just let him stand there on the ring apron and a little distraction there. I don't know if the referee could allow this to to continue. I mean, as much as I like Team Six One Nine, I mean, I do have to be a, a fair and unbiased commentator here and now. Back into something, excuse me, Sergeant Arturo Loco going up top rope again, and again with that leg drop, Bulldog. What's he going for here? Going high risk. Oh, that twisting moonsault. He's not done with him yet. Sends him to the corner. Try to go for. Go for, go for something here, but Batalla counter and oh, low blow! Come on now, and now picks him up, hits him with a LA riot. That fishing maneuver named after his team, the LA riot, and try to go for the cover and back to the Max Richard on the ring apron. Ref count. <laughs> try to go for the count and again, back to the Max Richard. Inserting himself into this match again with a distraction, and now again with that high risk arm breaker, and not going for the cover. But Taylor too close to the ropes, and again back into the max on the on the re apron. Oh, side rush and leg sweep, and and the referee tossing. Back, uh, back into the Max Richard away, back send him back to the ringside now. Low blow, another low blow now. Picks him up again, again with the LA Riot. And now dragging our through the look of this away from the ropes. The cover now. One, two, and that's it. I mean what an impressive matchup that was. But in the end of it, the tag there just, just would, just able to power this much smaller Sergeant Arturo Loco. And to see the highlights of this impressive matchup. I mean, throughout the majority of the match, Sergeant Arturo Loco did have the upper hand, but then that backbreaker, that was the momentum shifter, and then this, the, the pair of low blows into the LA Riot was the, was the one move that finished it all off as the tagler dragged Arturo Loco away from the ropes and, and went for the pin. And Battaglia is the fourth and final competitor in that Fatal 4-Way to crown the next XGWO Pure Champion. We still have more to go here including a tag team match with Tammy and Ruby Carter taking on the Olivia and Solera Logan, Logan sisters. Then Keith Storm's going to be in action against Trey Steele. And we're also going to have. We'll be right back.
And folks, we are back with more XGWL Charge episode number 87. And let's take this with some tag team action here as we have here. Tammy and Ruby Carter. I mean, what more can I say really about, about Tammy? Former four-time XGWL Women's Champion and... And now the current XGWL Lady Pro Champion. <laughs> and then back in CCL, she was part of that stable known as Devilicious. <laughs> I mean, we all got, we all know the story behind that. And then, I mean, sometimes I don't know why Terry's still in XGWL or. Or why she's after everything that she's done, and then you see Olivia and Solera Logan, both of them from Toronto, Canada, Logan sisters. Solera Logan more of the power of the team, and Olivia Logan more of the high flyer. But they haven't had too much success ever since Olivia Logan debuted in XGWL. Maybe this will be the chance for them to turn it around because they have a lot of potential to maybe go after the the women's titles. Well, uh, we'll see how they do in this match. I'm gonna give a couple of quick shout outs. Quick shout out to CAW Mainstream, all the CAW forums out there. As we get this match underway here, the power of the Logan sisters, Solera Logan, starting things off against. Ruby Carter, rake of the eyes. I mean, not too surprising. This slamming her head down on the ground sends her to the corner. Form shot, and now Ruby. Nice bulldog takedown. I trip to the corner. Reversal by Solera Logan. And now counter now Ruby going to high risk and what a takedown that was! Wow. Now with a go behind and takes her down with that side Russian leg sweep. Oh, rake of the back. And the sweeping leg. Now Tammy gets into the match and kicks to the midsection. And now a the Russian leg sweep there by Tammy. Forearm shot to the head. And now Solera Lo tags out and now Olivia Logan comes into the match. Right to the back of what a takedown. I mean, does Tammy have the talent to be like a bona fide women's champion where where she can continually win? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think she really has put too much effort. And what a takedown, what a good double team there by the Logan sisters. Because Tammy always, in, in the past, has, has always ridden on the coattails of Extreme Tony and what a DDT that was but since Extreme Tony and Tammy are no longer together <laughs> how's that gonna work for Tammy <laughs> maybe she needs to get her ass some serious work ethic and actually put some serious effort into winning some matches now and what a takedown arm breaker Tammy getting out of it I mean the one thing that Tammy does have is she does have you know, some physical advantages and what a takedown. I mean, I mean, look how tall she is. She's like, she's like six foot two. She has those long legs. And a little assist there by Ruby Carter. And now, oh, what a DDT again. And a takedown. Warm shot there by Tammy. And now Tammy 
with that floating over swinging neck breaker that that was once upon a time her finishing maneuver that Tammy go around. I was ripped to the corner. Olivia Logan getting out of that corner. It says Tammy to to her team's corner. Tags and her sister Solera. What a hip toss. Nice elbow. Let's see what they're gonna do. Tammy with a go behind and counter there by Solera Logan. And the Logan sisters do appear like a like a very well put together tag team. Nicely done with that combination. And now Olivia Logan. Side Russian leg sweep takes her down. Couple of punches. Now Tammy with a headlock. Elbow shot to the head now. Taking Solera Logan to her team's corner. Gets the tag to Ruby. And just working on that arm. Oh what a what a what a drop kick. And now what's she gonna do? Just slams her head down. Now locking up here, collar and elbow. And now with the abdominal stretch trying to go for it, but Ruby Carter getting out of it. Counter there by Olivia Logan. And now sending Ruby Carter to her team's corner. And now the tag in to Solera. And oh, nicely done with that double team combination. And now Ruby not too not doesn't like that too much. And now oh, a double on DDT. Her finishing maneuver. And now the cover. One. Only a one cast. Solera gets back up. Now quit celebrating and get to work. I swear. <laughs> I know I've said this before that, that Ruby Carter has shown some improvement in her wrestling skills, but she still takes a page from Tammy's playbook and just, just panders to the crap too much. You know, coming up the works, if you will. And that sudden rush leg sweep. And now going high risk. Oh, nicely done. Oh, kick to the back. And just sweeping the leg. Now going for the cover. One. Just gets one. Let's see what she's going to do here. Takes her down. Try to go for a Boston Crab. Can she pull it off? Yes. Can, can Solara Logan reach the ropes? And that's her sister to, to help her out. And now. Oh, what a double team maneuver there by the, the Logan sisters. And they're not related to CJ Logan. I can assure you of that. Oh, what a clothesline. It's CJ Logan's from Minnesota. I know a former rival of Extreme Tony. And Oh, knee to the head. I mean, we do have more matches left to go. Keith Storms are going to be taking on Trey Steele one-on-one. -on -one. Also, a number one contenders match for the XGWO Women's Tag Team titles as Moolay and Alice Black will take in on Obsidian and Kendall Lewis. And also, Rick Gass is going to be defending as XGWL Pro title against his handpicked opponent. Yes, that's right. He handpicked his opponent for this one. And he's going to be taking on Brandon Thomas. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, I'm not sure what our main event's going to be, but this should be great. <laughs> well, I am getting word that Extreme Tony and the Great Deal will be taking on Exotica and H.A. Cool in the main event. <laughs> I know Extreme Tony has had some heat, some problems with AJ Cool, the leader of the Anarchists. 
and what a double team maneuver by the Logan sisters. That, I mean, they are a pretty well put together tag team, I'll tell you that much. And now, now Olivia gets the tag in. What's she going to do here? Ruby with the counter. If you're new to, to XGWO, welcome. Hopefully you're, you are enjoying this this great action here. And now this double team. And oh, what a flapjack. If you're new to CAW, if, you're not, if you don't know what CAW is, it's creator wrestler or what they call video game wrestling or video game machinima or whatever you want to call it. But, but this is the main concept here. XGW Extreme Global Wrestling League. We're on blip.tv on YouTube and oh nicely done you can also check us out on the Facebook page facebook.com slash XGWL show the cover two almost three with a, with a save right there and now Ruby oh wow Oh, damn. Let's see what we're going to see here. Oh, what a running drop kick there by Olivia Logan. And now, what are we going to see now? Counter. Guess Tammy gets the tag in. And just works on that arm, that double axe handle on the arm of Olivia Logan. Counter to a headlock. Oh, knocking Ruby Carr off the ring apron. And Tammy with that side rushing leg sweep. Now Tammy. Going for it. Nicely done with a California split. And now going for the cover now. One, two, and that's it. All right, that was a pretty impressive win there by Tammy and Ruby Carter. And in my opinion, it was a pretty surprise victory there. I didn't expect them to win. <laughs> I was expecting the Logan sisters to win that one. But nevertheless, they do win this one. But I'm just wondering, who's going to be facing Tammy for her XGW Lady Pro title at Thug Life? Well, that is a good question because so far we haven't had a, anyone step up to the challenge to take her title away. I mean, it is an officially recognized title. 